what's up Bali, how you guys doing, apa kabar, and selamat pagi, rahajang semang In this video, I'm gonna talk about 10 important things, 10 important things that you have to prepare before you travel to Bali, before you go to Bali Update June 2023 So I'm not just gonna talk about visa here, but also all the things that better you prepare before you travel to Bali So watch this video to the end, my name is Oki Misa, I'm your host in Bali Welcome to What's Up Bali channel, the number one channel for you to know how to travel to Bali, how to stay in Bali, how to live in Bali, and condition in Bali now. If you're interested on those, consider to subscribe. Yes, it's beautiful weather today. Sun out. Now it's um, 10 to 9 o'clock in the morning. I think the summer just started. That's why in this video, I'm going to talk about 10 important things that you should prepare before you go to Bali. Whatever your reason is, for holiday, for work, to open up business. These are 10 important things that you should prepare before you travel to Bali, before you go to Bali. So the purpose of this video is to make sure you will not face any problem when you're entering Bali and also to make it easier when you're staying, when you live in Bali. So first thing first, number one, the validity of your passport. Make sure you have at least six months spare from your plan to stay in Indonesia. Like for, like for example, if you plan to stay here for 12 months, one year, make sure your passport valid until at least 18 months. So, six months extra. Because to extend your visa, need to have six months validity. So make sure you have six months extra from your plan to stay in Indonesia. And number two, the visa, of course. Make sure you got the correct visa with your travel plan. If you're a citizen of nine Southeast Asian country or you're coming from Timor-Leste, you're entitled to get 30 days free visa. And if you're a citizen of these 92 countries, you can pause this video to see if your country's in it. If you're a citizen of these 92 countries, you are entitled to get visa on arrival. To get the visa on arrival, you can either get it from online, this is the link I also mentioned down in the description, the molina.immigracy.go.id or you can get it at the airport in Indonesia, in Jakarta, Surabaya, including Bali of course. To get this visa on arrival visa, make sure that your passport still valid for six months and you got return ticket or ticket to other country as your next destination within 60 days. Yep, you can only stay for 60 days with the visa on arrival. First, you got the 30 days and then you can extend for another 30 days. So total 60 days. And for you who is a citizen not include in that countries that can get the visa on arrival, you can also go to that website, the morin.immigracy.go.id and get the 211A for tourists. That visa also valid for 60 days and cannot be extended. I already talked about it in my previous video, this video. Okay, I'm gonna also mention it down in the description. Now, for digital nomad who wants to stay more than 60 days, let's say for six months or even more, a year or something, or for you who want to apply a kitas, like working kitas, business kitas, retirement kitas, etc., you need to get the B211A visa. And for that, you have to apply through visa agency. Like me, for instance, because you need a sponsor and we the one who gonna be your sponsor. With this visa, as I said, you can stay more than 60 days, 6 months, a year, even more. So for Digital Nomad, this is your visa. And if you want me to do your b 2 visa or your kitas, send me email. Okay? I'll also mention down in the description. And now number 3, vaccine certificate. Yes, some airlines still ask for vaccine certificate before you boarding. So it requires two doses minimum. Except if you have the Janssen vaccine, then you only need to have one dose. So, vaccine certificate. Some airlines still ask before your boarding. But they are not gonna ask it at the airport in Bali. And number four, driving license. If you plan to ride a scooter in Bali, yes, you still can rent and ride a scooter in Bali. Just make sure you got your international driving license in your country. Because some rentals now ask for your international driving license. And make sure your international driving license also include scooter, also include motorcycle. If you're already here and you don't have an uh, international driving license, send me email. I'm gonna let you know how to get the local driving license, alright? And number five, and number five, before you leave your country, don't forget to fill in the electronic custom declaration. You remember back then before the pandemic that before you're entering a country, you have to fill in a little, a little paper on the plane 
that the that the flight attendants gave it to you like for you if you bring something to declare a lot of alcohol maybe cigarette electronic etc now we are doing it through online it's called the electronic custom declaration this is the link and I also mention it down in the description so like two days or a night before you're traveling before you're flying don't forget to fill in the electronic custom declaration however if you somehow you forgot to fill in the electronic custom declaration when you arrive at the airport in Bali after you collect your bag there's a banner with a QR code scan it and you will direct to that application just fill in and they also have some computers that you can use if your handphones doesn't work maybe you don't have one or you're out of battery then the result of that custom declaration is the QR code which all you gotta do is just scan it when you arrive at custom counter at the airport easy and number six local sim card if you want to use a local number a local sim card you can also get it before you're flying so when you arrive at the airport you can just go to the counter of that uh, mobile provider and collect your sim card this is it it's called tourist prepay sim card i also gonna mention the link down in the description so make sure you check the description after you watch this video and also ask them if you plan to stay more than 90 days because if you plan to stay more 90 days you have to register your email otherwise your phone will be blocked just ask them and now number seven travel insurance i know it's not mandatory anymore to have insurance to travel to bali but listen to this you are far away from your home and our food our weather is completely different for most of the countries it is tropical so that's why a lot of people sometimes got we call it bali belly and etc so having um insurance is a good idea if you're looking for one also mentioned in the description it's called safety wing they have several package they also even have a package for digital nomads so check them out okay i mentioned down in the description and number eight your first hotel at least you have your first hotel because of course standard question from the immigration when you arrive they will ask where you plan to stay that's a standard question so make sure you have your first hotel airbnb homestay guest house resort just make sure you have a hotel at least for a couple days and number nine the airport pickup make sure somebody pick you up or call your hotel to organize the pickup for you you know when you're out of the airport there's some uh, freelance driver sometimes they're so pussy like come on come on you know even me a local i don't like that so make sure you call your hotel ask them to organize a pickup for you if your hotel somehow don't have that service just let me know send me email i can help you with the airport pickup to any area in bali now and now number 10 the important application there's two actually the first one is whatsapp everyone here use whatsapp and also very convenient let's say if you got lost i don't know knock on wood you got accident or something you can call your host or your friend or anyone and share your location so make sure you have whatsapp because everyone here have a whatsapp and number two the online taxi like grab or gojek just like uber in your country maybe here in indonesia we have grab and gojek and they are not only a taxi here. it's also include scooter taxi yep scooter taxi not on not only car but we have also scooter taxi and you can even buy food there i already talked about it in my previous video i think during the panel i already talked about this with this application you can order food you can ask them to buy a grocery you can ask them to send something maybe you forget your your wallet or you forget something in their application they have a menu from a surrounding restaurant so you can just choose it and they're gonna deliver it for you even the restaurant doesn't have delivery service so that two important application that you should have the first one is whatsapp which everyone uses it here in bali and the second one the gojek or the grab oh one more thing before i close this i think i need to inform you this you will find a lot in the restaurant in a hotel etc if you go to the toilet you will read that please do not throw your toilet paper in the toilet so you have to throw it to the trash bin next to it the question is how about if you have the bad one you know maybe you've been eating a lot of spicy food or something so next to your toilet there's a sprayer so you should shoot it first with the sprayer like that and then you can use the toilet paper so it's not gonna be that bad maybe if it's funny the first one you try it i mean like that <laughs> let me know your first experience using it if you're already here in bali anyway 
That's all. The 10 most important things that you should prepare before you go to Bali. Update June 2023. Summer is coming. Share this video so more and more people know about this thing. Hit the subscribe button for those who haven't and smash the notification bell so you won't miss any update from me regarding how to travel to Bali, how to live in Bali, and condition in Bali now. My name is Okimisa. I'm your host in Bali. Stay safe. Until then.